The armature is the central part of your table saw's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, the drive shaft, and the shaft bearings. The armature, along with the field, create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear away from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or a burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the fence, the blade guard, the blade insert, and the blade. I'll start with the fence. Now the guard. The blade insert is held in place with one screw. And now I can remove the blade. I'll use the wrench that came with the saw, and to lock the blade in place, I like to use a piece of scrap wood. I'll remove the blade nut and flange, and then I can remove the blade. I'll also release the riving knife and lower it down into the saw. Now I can rotate the saw over and place it on its top. Now I'll release the saw's bevel lock and bevel the motor up so I have better access. Now remove the motor brushes. Next, I'll remove the four screws that secure the motor housing to the gearbox, and then I'll be able to remove the housing itself. Now I have access to the armature and I can remove it. Now I can install the new armature. I'll align the gears and the bearing with the gear box and press it in place. Now I can reinstall the motor housing over the armature into the gear box. I'll reinstall the baffle. The cutout should go over the top of the wires. There's a metal washer that fits at the bottom of the housing and goes against the rear bearing on the armature. I'll drop this washer into the housing, make sure it aligns with the hole, and now I can reinstall the housing. I'll tip the bevel back up to install the housing, that way the washer won't fall out.
with the housing in place. I'll tip the bevel back and now I can secure the housing with the screws. I'll reinstall the motor brushes. And now I'll finish up by tipping the saw back over and reinstalling the blade, guard, and fence. And now I'll finish up by tipping the saw back over and reinstalling the blade, guard, and fence. And that's all it takes to install a new armature in your table saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.